Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shubhayu Banerjee from Manipal Hospitals, Mukundapur. Today I am going to discuss with you a very unique and interesting case which a surgeon encounters very rarely in their practicing life. A 45-year-old gentleman presented to my OPT with a 7-year history of abdominal pain, vomiting, weight loss and inability to eat. Now he has gone, uh, he has seen multiple doctors and had various tests and no problem was found to an extent which he was under the psychiatrists with uh, treatment for depression and antidepressants. The main problem he was suffering was he could not eat. He was vomiting every time and he had this intractable pain not responding to analgesics. So initially the first impression I had looking at all his scans was let's get another CT scan with our radiologist because I was looking for a specific problem called the superior mesenteric artery syndrome. Now I'll, I'll come to the technical bit first and then explain it in your terms where you can understand. Super, uh, the, our body has a main artery which supplies blood to the entire body called the abdominal aorta. From it arises a branch called the superior mesenteric artery which supplies the intestine. Now the aorta, the superior mesenteric artery rising from the aorta has an angle. In this case, his angle was so acute, it was compressing the intestine which was making it, uh, which was making him unable to eat and every time he was eating, he was vomiting. So after the CT scan and of course you need a brilliant radiology team and I can't think of radiologists enough for this, thank them enough for this. Uh, we found it that he indeed had a SMA syndrome or a superior mesenteric artery syndrome. So I operated on him and we did a bypass surgery where we bypass one part of the intestine which is blocked by the artery to the another part. He went home after five days and I'm happy to say I have seen him in my clinic after two months. He has gained five kgs in weight. His pain has gone. His vomiting has disappeared. And he is off his antidepressants and back to normal life. What we are trying to say here is these are all unique cases. But as doctors, we should have a high index of suspicion backed by fantastic radiology and infrastructure. And then the surgery becomes good and, you know, you make such a huge difference in this patient's life. Thank you.